Good morning everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. I didn't want to mention that not only do we sell trucks here at TransWest, but we purchase them as well. So if you have a pickup or a freight liner that you're trying to get rid of, please feel free to give me a call and we'll see what we can do. You can get a hold of me at 303-684-3404. Today, we're gonna to take a look at one of the used pickups that we have on the lot. This is a 2020 Ford F-350. This truck has just a touch over 40,000 miles on it. The trim package is Lariat. One advantage to this truck is this is a local trade-in. It's a one owner and it was never taken out of the state of Colorado, which that's an advantage because some states back east salt those roads up things like that and really tears up the underneath of the truck well that hasn't happened in this case so as we admire it from the side of you let's talk about a couple of things that really jump out at us first is notice this is a long box so from a practicality standpoint there's an advantage here because of the length from here on back with the horsepower in this truck, not only are you able to tow a substantial amount, but with the size of that bed, you're able to uh, haul a lot in the bed of this specific truck. Now this truck is four wheel drive and it's FX4 off-road. So what does that mean? Well, underneath the truck, everything is protected. There's skid plates running all along underneath the truck. So if we take it off-road, things of that nature we can be assured that everything's protected underneath the truck underneath here is the fuel and def tank this truck holds 48 gallons of fuel as we walk on forward we'll see the power stroke badge located right here As mentioned, this truck is a Lariat and it's an F-350. So let's take a look directly in front of the vehicle. And we're gonna work from the ground up. We can see it comes with tow hooks located on each side. In addition to that, fog lights located here and here. LED headlights as well. Plus we see the Ford badge located here. Underneath the hood is Ford's Power Stroke 6.7 liter turbo diesel. Now this engine offers 475 horsepower. So as stated, you're able to tow a substantial amount with this specific truck and it is coupled with Ford's transmission. As we come on around and take a look at the tires you can see these are a little bit more aggressive. Those are T275 65 R20s. Now as we take a look inside the driver's seat, the front seats are heated and vented. Here is where we would make the adjustments to the seats, here and here. To make adjustments to the pedals, we can do that right here. And the steering wheel adjustment is right here one thing I do like about Ford their memory system so it will move the seat the steering wheel and the pedals see there goes the seat the steering wheel and the pedals are all adjusted so you can set that to where you properly want them crawl on in and this is a power start you push button start so push the brake and that truck fires right on up as 
as we take a look in the back seat, you can see I already have the seat up to show you some what things is capable of doing. This little compartment here is collapsible, so you have a couple of options. If you're hauling smaller items and you don't want them to move around, put that there, or collapse it on down, which will enable you to allow to uh, carry larger items in that back seat. And then that seat simply pops on down. As we continue on, we'll take a look directly behind the truck. As you can see, it comes with a bumper pull hitch ready to go. As we come on up, we see Super Duty right here the Ford badge located here and there is a backup camera located here as well. As you can see the bed is already lined. It does have the puck system in it and it's already set up for with a gooseneck ball. In addition tie downs on all four corners plus there is lighting in the bed of the truck one thing the tailgate offers is to assist us in getting up and in press that pull it out and down pull this out lift it all the way up so that enables you to get in the bed of that truck easier now to put it all back together. Just like that and you're ready to go. Now as we take a look at it from this side, as mentioned this is an F350. Well if we didn't look at the badges, how could we tell it's a 350 and not a 250? The answer to that is in the suspension right here so if we take a look one two three four five if this was an f-250 it would just have two so if you see a truck kind of determining if it's an f-250 or 350 that's the difference the difference is in the, sus the suspension which will enable you to haul a lot more and tow a lot more and be more stable in doing so As we take a look at the passenger seat, here's where the adjustments are made. In addition, the glove box located here and the original manual. Now if we take a look at the running boards, those are electric. So when we shut the door, those are going to pop back up, but when we open it, those will come on down. As we take a look at the back seat, you can see where the vents are. In addition to that, I open the doors for a couple of charging ports located right there. Now let's crawl on up and in and take a closer look. Okay. As we work from top to bottom, the sunglass holder located right there. As we come on down and take a look at this row of buttons, this is the exhaust brake located here. And we're going to want to use that if we're coming down a sharp decline, perhaps we're towing a trailer, because that's going to slow everything down. So that's going to make things safer for your family and the other drivers on the road as well traction control located right here. These are our hazards. This is hill descent. This is lane. So if you get out of your lane a little bit, it's going to notify you that you're doing so. It comes with six presets right here. 
and that's one thing we'll help you do is get all the radio stuff set up before you leave now these numbers down here coordinate with these here so if we press one that's the same as pushing it on the screen we can set up our climate control from here in terms of uh, air conditioner you can set each side to the temperature you want right here and you can set that up so it'll automatically do that for you when we go to a phone we can set up your Bluetooth for you the truck comes with navigation as well and we can go to settings and do some things here's where we would hook up your Bluetooth we can set up our display however we want it as well as we come on down and take a look at the climate control um, pretty basic you can like I said you can adjust the temperature to each side and set it to automatic and then automatically do that for you this truck is as stated four-wheel drive and we can make those adjustments right there the trailer brake for the truck is located here as we take a look at the console this slides up and you can put items there cup holders located here and if we lift that on up we can see a large amount of storage located right here this truck has a GVWR of 14,000 pounds the axle axle ratio is 3.55 the stock number is 5U220940 if you have any other questions about it please feel free to give me a call the cell phone number 970-370-4067 the work extension 303-684-3404 feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com thanks for tuning in today